Evening all, it's Postbag. Now this package arrived today and I think it's a robot. Let's have a look. So this has been sent to me by Sun Founder and it's their crawling quadruped robot kit for Arduino. Now there are a couple of Arduino nanos in here and also these NRF 24L01 wireless modules for the remote control. So all of my favourite bits. So inside the box we have what looks like quite a detailed uh, manual with instructions how to assemble the robot. Um, what else have we got? Errata probably, feedback, something about no longer including CDs, and then all the bits. There's a nice little screwdriver here, but uh, you can't help but notice the 12 servos because of course there are three servos per leg. There's a big bag of screws and standoffs and oh gosh those screws are extremely small. I wonder what they're for. A couple of double battery holders for 18650 lithium cells and there's a Sunfounder mobile robot remote controller and a Sunfounder servo control board. I think I'll open those up actually. So this is the servo control board and uh, you can see there's an LM2596 switch mode, a step down converter there, presumably to step the, what would that be, uh, 7.4 volts down to 5 or something I guess. There's also the NRF uh, 24L01 plus that is I think, I can just see a plus on there. This is the Nano, now I'm not sure whether these are pre-programmed or whether they have to be programmed. Um, so, and that's got lots of these servo outputs. So presumably there's some um, some sort of servo chip on there. Perhaps uh, we'll have a look under the Nano. And then this is the remote controller. We've got another Nano there, and I've just eased it out of its socket so I could look underneath. And ah, it's got a PL two three zero three USB to serial interface. So that'd be interesting, especially as I've just upgraded my PC from Windows 8 to Windows 10. So we'll uh, see what fun and games are involved in getting all that to work. Another NRF transceiver, and here is a um, what's that? A joystick, uh, which I think clicks. Does it click? Yes, I think it clicks. And of course, you have four directions of movement. Now here's one of the Emacs ES08A. What's that? Type two. Uh, servos. It's a miniature servo by the look of it. It has um, the connectors already on so that should make life a little bit easier when we're just plugging in servos into these uh, 12 is it? Yeah 12 servo connection points here. There is no chip driving this so it must be taken directly off um, 12 digital pins of the Nano. So lots of these little servo boxes. And then all that's left in the box are the plastic parts, which I think are all laser cut acrylic. So I'm going to open this up and take a look at those parts inside. So this is all wrapped in cling film. Let's get that off. And then I presume that's just a drawing of all the parts. Okay, yes, yeah, so they're in here. Yes, in the original panels that so they just break out like that and then I suppose I'm going to have to uh, peel all these brown paper coatings off to reveal the actual parts. Here are some legs and uh, various other bits in here. Yeah, all laser cut acrylic. So it looks like on the remote control the battery box uh, just screws onto the back of the board there and then you can control the uh, robot with this joystick. Uh, no batteries are supplied, but uh, I've got uh, plenty of 18650s, so we can dig some of those out and get this thing up and running. Now it doesn't look like any soldering is going to be required because the battery boxes have these um, little wire-ended pins which will screw presumably into these uh, terminal blocks. And then the servos will all plug into these points here on the main servo board. And they've all got their plugs already fitted, so yeah, shouldn't be any soldering at all, which is uh, pleasant. So this is sunfounder.com, and uh, you can see the uh, quadruped 
robot there at the top of the page doing one of its little dancing routines. Now you might think that's a bit silly, in fact they even say it here, cute, creepy, silly, but it's when you start thinking about the maths of holding these tips of the feet uh, in a constant position while the whole of the rest of the unit is moving around that it starts to become a bit more interesting and uh, I'm quite keen to look at the code uh, on this and see how they've done it. I mean is it calculating these uh, movements in real time or is it using lookup tables? I guess we'll find out. Uh, here's the quadruped robot kit on sunfounder.com. So here in the shop, um, the Crawling Quadruped Robot Kit is $159.99, uh, free shipping via DHL from China. And there are some photographs here of the robot in various uh, positions and stages of construction. Now I'm just looking in the blog page and we've got the uh, Silly Cute Quadruped Robot for Arduino here at the top. There's also some other stuff here. We've got uh, an IoT shield, Internet of Things, and it looks like it's got a combination of NRF uh, wireless modules and, up at this left-hand side, ESP8266. So it seems that uh, step one in the construction is to mount this uh, circular wheel thing that comes in the pack with the servo, uh, four of these, onto this uh, acrylic base plate into these corners and that's what all those tiny little screws are for. It's for screwing uh, these little wheels down. There are eight screws per wheel so uh, quite nice that they included the screwdriver I suppose. Now it looks like the uh, laser cutting of the acrylic is uh, quite accurate. These are all a nice snap fit in here uh, apart from that one. That one's a bit loose but the others all seem to fit quite well. So let's put the screws in there now. Well now this is a bit annoying because the uh, screws don't stick to the uh, screwdriver so I'm just going to magnetise this up, if it will magnetise up, Let's see if that works. Oh that's much better. Screws that stick to a screwdriver, that makes life so much easier. So that's one of these discs uh, screwed down to the acrylic base plate with all eight screws. Uh, it does take a while. I'm not planning to build this entire thing in this video, but let's just check what's the next step in the book. Ah, right. And well, now I have to attach what they call rocker arms, these wheels, to the four thighs. Oh, that's a lot of screws. Now, one of the screw heads has uh, broken off, and I think it's because I'm not properly cleaning these little bits of uh, laser cut material out of these holes. It does say in the manual that uh, you should do that. And I find that if you just push one of these spikes in here, you can get them out. Although it is a bit fiddly clearing all these holes, but uh, they do need to be cleared before you put the screws in. Well, I am having some difficulty uh, with these screws. I've had two break off now here. It seems that the acrylic's quite tough, uh, but the screws possibly not quite so much. But then, you know, eight screws is uh, easily enough to hold this thing on. Four would probably do it, so six screws is not going to be a problem there. So yes, I think once you properly clear these holes and uh, just go easy on these screws because they're very very tiny, I managed to get all eight of these in without incident on the second wheel there. So now this will attach to a servo once the thing's finished and uh, that's what gives it its leg movement. So lots more of these uh, still to do, I'll do that at some point, but I was just looking through the manual here um, at some of the Arduino installation stuff and uh, it seems that they're using a couple of libraries where is it? Back here I think yeah specifically FlexiTimer 2 now I imagine that's for the servos and then of course the RF24 library for the um, transceiver units now there are various forks of this RF24 I can't imagine that the fork I've got, which is the Greg Copeland fork, will be a problem, so I'll probably stick with that and just see how it goes. I've never heard of Flexi Timer before, but uh, yeah, my guess is that that's for the servos. And then later on, they've got uh, here on the CD. Now, of course, they don't supply a CD now, so it's all downloads from their site. But here there's an NRF24L01 uh, 
receive program and it looks like when you've got the remote control unit fully built you can uh, just watch the uh, pot positions of the joystick just coming in as a stream of data on the serial monitor. Now once all the various parts of the legs are attached to the main body uh, it seems that the next thing is a calibration process so uh, it looks like there are calibration uh, programs that need to be downloaded and then you place the robot onto a page in this book actually which is way back here it's this calibration chart and you start aligning all the servos so that uh, everything is in the right place for the default positions uh, so that the thing can walk without toppling over I guess but uh, for the moment I'm going to leave it there uh, now my desk is completely awash with servo boxes and plastic parts and little screws uh, so I'm going to put all that together uh, a bit more slowly I'm rushing it probably a bit at the moment and without this camera in my way so that I can see what I'm doing so this big mound of stuff is uh, today's post bag the Sunfounder crawling quadruped robot kit for Arduino. Cheerio!